Hi guys, uh, Rahul here once again and uh, today we have something new uh, for review here. This happens to be the D-Link Wireless N300 ADSL2 Plus modem router. This as, you, the, as the name suggests is a modem plus router that can be used uh, with your broadband connection uh, provided by the likes of BSNL and MTNL which are ADSL based connections. Uh, this is not a more cable uh, modem. So if we have a cable based internet connection you won't be able to use this one. So before you go out to buy this one be warned about this fact. Uh, let's take a quick look at the features on this one. We'll take a look at the box itself first. Uh, I have yet to open this. I, this had a small plastic covering. I have removed it but this box is yet unopened. Uh, this is the top of the line uh, uh, modem router uh, that's available from T-Link as of now. Uh, as you can see this uh, ticks all the boxes, all the features. There are a bunch of other mo uh, uh, modems in this uh, range uh, like starting from the 2540U, 2640U, 2730U and this is the top of the line 2750U. As you can see this uh, ticks uh, almost all the boxes and uh, for the same reason is a feature packed uh, uh, router and surprisingly the good thing about this product is the fact that this uh, doesn't cost a bomb. This has been priced uh, a little shy of the 2500 rupee mark. Uh, at the time of its launch it was around uh, the 2700 rupee mark. As of now this is retailing at around the 2300 rupee mark. So this is quite an affordable router. Let's now go ahead and unbox this product and see what's inside. I was looking for the correct way to open this uh, box and finally figure out how to do it. So this is how we open the box. Like I said, this has not been opened yet. So this is a real unboxing. And this is the box. And let's see what's in here. This is the modem itself. Uh, let's first take a look at what else we have inside the box. This is the RJ45 cable, a single RJ45 cable that uh, you might require if you do not want to use the wireless functionality. I don't know why would someone want to do that after buying a router line a router, wireless router. This is the power adapter, a 12 volt power adapter I believe. Let's take that aside now. This uh, is the RJ11 uh, cable that you can connect from your phone to the uh, router itself for your internet connection. And uh, this interestingly is a splitter that uh, D-Link has provided uh, in case uh, you do not have one or uh, you are in the process of setting up a new connection. This is a ADSL splitter, very useful, a good move by ADSL. And that is all. Apart from uh, apart from that, we have the the quick start uh, CD that you need to pop into your computer and to set up this uh, modem. And we have the standard uh, documentation, the warranty and safety information card here. And, uh, this is the declaration of conformity. I don't know what that means. And the D Link GPL code statement. The source code. And we have something else here. This is the quick installation guide. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it. Low light issues with my camera. Finally, we have some focus. Yeah. This is the quick installation guide. So we'll keep that aside for a moment and take a look at the modem now. This is the modem inside this bubble wrap. Let me try and open this. Like I said, this has not been opened before. Quite a shiny 
piece of machinery as you can see I will remove this plastic cover here so there's a big uh, this as you can see has a dual antenna taste uh, to insert the CD and run wizard first. We will be doing that, that uh, a bit later but let me first remove this plastic covering and show you how a good look at this uh, router is. As you can see this has a piano black finish and it is quite a shiny looking uh, piece of equipment. I quite like the undersuit looks of this one and we'll take a look at what uh, buttons and functionalities this has on the body. This as you can see is a bunch of lights, uh, indicator lights that uh, pro uh, provides you information about the state of the, your internet connection and your wireless and uh, wired connectivity. At the back of the device we have uh, the RJ11 cable input uh, from the, the connection from your telephone comes to comes from I mean and we have four uh, RJ45 uh, ports and interestingly we have a USB port here this uh, has a blue bluish tinge inside uh, which makes me suspect if this is a USB 3.0 I'm not sure about that I'll uh, let you know that later at the bottom of the device we have the FCC certification and uh, the stuff and a couple of air vents I believe and there is a there's a reset button here I need a pin to access it and there's the power button here that you can use to there, there's a wireless switch here uh, uh, that uh, you can turn the wireless off if you do not intend to use the wireless functionality and use the uh, LAN cable for internet connectivity and the sides too we have a bunch of uh, air vents and there's a dealing seal over here that uh, you should not uh, remove so that your warranty won't be void but that is the dealing uh, 2750U uh, I will go into a bit of the features this uh, device has this uh, is a universal plug and play compliant and uh, uh, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this supports uh, wireless speeds of up to 300 Mbps that uh, the intra network speed I'm talking about, I'm not talking about the broadband speed here. Uh, as for ADSL broadband, it supports uh, speeds of up to 24 Mbps uh, if you have subscribed to such a plan. And uh, the, uh, the, uh, the upload speed uh, is not more than 1 Mbps, that is uh, with ADSL nowadays so there's no point complaining about that uh, there's uh, as I said there's a USB 2.0 it, it says uh, oh, now I found that it's a USB 2.0 so don't be fooled by the uh, blue color inside it's USB 2.0 so what this uh, USB 2.0 port does is that you can use this uh, USB port to connect your hard drive and USB based things like you when you can connect your data uh, 3G dongle to it and uh, suppose you have a Tata photo on 3G dongle you can uh, connect that 3G dongle to this uh, router and make a wireless connection out of it so you can use the same connection on multiple devices uh, using a single 3G modem so that is a helpful feature that I have found apart from that this being a top of the line uh, DSL, uh, ADSL uh, router you can find almost all the important features that you would expect in a product of this class I am yet to set this up and uh, the problem is that I have forgotten my uh, ADSL password so I need to go back to ADSL to fetch that one before I set this one up and uh, maybe I'll do a review once again uh, uh, after I set this thing up uh, before I finish this video I want to tell you that uh, this router supposedly has a range of 500 meters uh, thanks to the dual antenna uh, in the open I'm saying uh, within your house this should be uh, good uh, for around 50 meters so that's a, that's quite a good a range uh, unless you have a very big house so yeah folks that uh, was the dealings top of the line ADSL to router 
that the model number is GSL2750U. This thing, like I mentioned, retails for around 2300 rupees and can be bought online from Flipkart or uh, uh, you might uh, want to visit your local dealer to find out if it's available for cheaper. And uh, I have not yet used this product so I cannot uh, really comment on the performance of this thing. But going by the looks of this thing, this uh, has to be a very good product. So that was a quick uh, unboxing of the D-Link 2750U wireless router. I hope to bring uh, more reviews to you in the future. Uh, that's it for now. Bye.